Well, welcome back to the channel. It's July 8th, it's a Thursday. Took the day off work. I'd like to say it's a nice day out, but uh, as you can see, it's overcast and we're expecting 50 millimeters, two inches of rain today, this afternoon. So I'm on my way in with my uh, first load. I gotta go back for a second load. I picked up this canoe from my uncle nearby. I'd like to thank him for donating it for this weekend. So I'm hauling in a bunch of gear. I got 10 guys coming into the property this weekend for good buddy's uh, bachelor party. So got a weed eater to clear some spots for uh, tents. And I have a very heavy load right now. I think there's 150 pounds of gravel, probably well, there's four cinder blocks and four three inch blocks and a patio slab a couple buckets of tools and camping uh camping cookware and uh the phone's propped up on this little cart that i picked up there yesterday so once i get to this first beaver dam we'll show you what we're hauling in she's a good load i decided to do it in two because we were running out of canoe above the water between me and uh, the gear I imagine we're about 800 pounds in this 14 foot aluminum so uh, hopefully I can get I have a good list to do but uh, the main goal is to get everything in there do what I can before dark and then head back out meeting up with the guys at my house tomorrow at 2 and we're coming in for Friday Saturday Sunday so all the gravel and concrete blocks, it was all stuff that I had around the house. Um, and I plan on making just a, a wood fired barbecue, something that's level and can cook for a larger group. It's a heavy haul, but uh, hopefully I can scoot this canoe over the three beaver dams without unloading. And then it's just gonna be the hike from where we uh, pull the canoes out up to the cabin. It's gonna be a, I was up early. I've been prepping all week for this uh, weekend. I got all the food for the guys yesterday, so. I'm sure I'll be tired tonight. Do a final few things tomorrow morning before they show up at the house and get the grass cut at the house. And uh, hopefully get a little bit of footage this weekend of the uh, projects I can get done while hanging out with the guys and fishing. Anyway, we'll see you at the first beaver dam here. Over here at the first first one, not gonna lie, it's taking me a bit to get the canoe to this position. So yeah, four of those three inch guys, four cinder blocks, there's a patio slab down there, three bags of gravel, two buckets of tools and this wooden cart, a weed eater, lunch bag, fishing pole take the year and a couple of the barbecue greets. So this is first load in. I have two more of these to go and I haven't even got over this one yet. Anyway, wish me luck. Oh, we survived. Wasn't too bad paddling alone. It's only a 14 footer, I think. And when you run it backwards, it gets you paddling closer to the middle of the boat. But I had one. Two foot by two foot patio slab. That boat block broke on me, but we can still use it. Three other blocks and four of those uh, three inch ones. Three bags of half inch gravel. And both of those totes are actually pretty heavy too. Full of tools and uh, cast cookware. So we'll get this all hauled up. Head back out for the second one. It's been raining on and off on me all morning. But, uh, then we'll get back and get to work with the weed eater. Well, that's what I've been dealing with for about two and a half hours. We got our second load going in. It's much lighter, but couldn't get it all on. Uh, maybe 125 pounds that tote weighs and then the saw. That's really it, but we run out of space and uh, I wish I split the loads up a little better because this one's a lot easier getting over the, the dams. Yep, pretty well soaked for 
probably a water spot's on the lens. Can't tell because it's all over my screen. And I have nothing dry left to wipe it off with. But we'll get in there, get this unloaded, because I'll have to empty the contents out of the tub to carry it up. The terrain's a little too rough from where we pull the canoes out of the water to use that cart. So I, I can use it once I get to the bridge, but I'll probably just take it up in a couple loads and then carry the, the box up on its own. But yeah, she's uh, pretty wet today. We'll get this in the rest of the way so we can get at a few projects. I'm probably going to leave most of them uh, and just work at them when the guys are here. Because uh, it's not a very nice day. Anyway, talk to you soon. Well, this hobby of mine's not for the faint of heart. I left the house around 8 o'clock this morning. It's 2.30 now. And I'm just ready to start doing work and I'm so great to the fruits of the looms. Not, every, not what everyone thinks a day off of work should be. But we had a deadline. Guys are coming tomorrow. Oh, I think I'm going to weed eat in the rain. Clear up. All this long stuff down in there. There's going to be two or three tents and then the trail that goes along the side here. And you can't really get to the outhouse up in there. So I'm going to do that because I want to haul the weed eater back out today. Take it back to the house. Oh, but I'm soaked and that might be all I get up to today because I'm going to have to deal with the, the pouring rain. I don't know if you can see it there. You can hear it. Glad I got this roof now.
Well, it's 4.30. I think I'm gonna start putting stuff away, but this is what I got done. You can see the canoe out that way. Uh, the weed eater wouldn't clear some of the bigger stocks on this stuff, so I'll have to use the lopers. But uh, we cleared up fast across the bridge. You can hear the old rubber boots full of water. So I cleared a path down to the rock. I'll just show you. I'm thinking with 10 guys in camping chairs, I don't have many flat spots around here. So I was thinking out here, overlooking the waterfalls in the swamp would be not a bad spot to put the fire ring to sit around through the evening. So there's a crane. Somewhere around here, we're gonna put a fire ring and sit 10 guys and but I'm not sure. We should catch a breeze off of this, but it is a swamp and the bugs could be brutal. So we don't know about that yet, but I, while I had the weed eater here, I cleared a path. Obviously some trimming with the lopers in there as well. But we cleared all this, hoping to get a couple of the bigger tents down here on the flat. The trail that goes that way some of the smaller two and three person tents. It gets flat just up there and around the corner. One or two there and I groomed up the hill here. Around the cabin in there all along the hill here it's the outhouse i did a little pass straight down through there to meet up with the other trail and then that way to the woodshed and on the atv trail if people want to be in the woods there's two nice flat spots uh, near the woodshed but you got the outhouse all Clear spot to it. Yeah, and then I also took down uh, half of that birch tree. It was overhanging where I wanted to put the fireplace for barbecue. <coughs> Cleaned all that up. I'll have to get it in the woodshed. And brush pile I want to burn. That's a low, low spot in there. And then any of the junk back in there that uh, I dug out of the bush that doesn't have metal in it, I'll burn it in this pile as well. And then all those rocks will carry down there and make a fire ring down at the water and clean up that one. I had a plan in my head and then I just started doing it. And this is how it ended up for today. Um, ideally I wanted this grate and this grate to be in line which I still can do it the other way on this. It's just this oven grate. It sits in there real sturdy like with the uh, the recess and it needed the 30 inch slab instead of just the 24 inch dimension. So it had to go that way. I should have spun it a whole 90 and then went that way and just had this 24 inch one out in front here and the same fire could have been under both of them i still can do that uh tomorrow and then this is just whatever your four block uh rocket stove so you just put like a stove top ring there feed your sticks in here it forces air in the bottom and you just set your pot up here at a nice working height the other thing i can do if i leave it like this is uh crack this block in half and then I can get the fire all started out in front here and just with the shovel I can move the coals around across the pads but it's level so it's nice for pots heavier loads and it's a little higher you never have to deal with uh, water in a fire pit or anything like that I had all this stuff sitting at the house so 
so I, I didn't have an H block. So I just used the angle grinder and cut the end out of one of them. It ended up breaking on me, but hopefully we can try that out. But I'm thinking I'm gonna get everything inside organized out of the way and just get out of here because like I said, it was 4.30 and I'm soaked right to the underwear. Boots got three inches in them for heaven's sakes. But I did some raking about this little telescopic folding rake. And uh, once I get that card out of the way, I'll finish up raking around there. But I think I'm just gonna get everything inside and lock up and uh, paddle out of here because it'll be late. It'll be dark by the time I get home. But uh, yeah, this will be a work in progress. We'll see how it, see how it works. I might uh, spin everything. I just only had three bags of gravel, and they're 50 pounds each, so you never have enough of that stuff. Anyway, should be better than our warped uh, grade over there. I did buy another one, just like it. Might be a little bit beefier, but. Uh, It'll come out and it's meant for the new cabin build site for cooking some lunches over there because it's nice and light and folds and yeah, we'll get rid of that pile and that pile hopefully this weekend. Yeah, that's just an update for now. Hopefully I can get the bracing all off tomorrow and the chimney extended and the permanent bracing on it all up in here. I'm putting a shelf across that top one and a couple shelves on either side of the fireplace. I got some screen that's got to go on the outhouse and finish that off finally. And there's a whole list of things that I have to do. Find a spot to keep that uh, toolbox. I'll fasten it probably to the back of the cabin and uh, I just have more lockable storage up here. Uh, I didn't need it at the house anymore, so just brought it up here. I'd like to take that over to the new build site when I start to get some tools over there so I don't have to walk back and forth. And I'll just somewhere to keep stuff out of the weather, out of the mice, which is nice. But just babbling on now. So I'm gonna shove the rest of the camping gear in here and load up and get out of here. All out what I won't need up here anymore. Well, that's all that's left to get down to the, the canoe. Had everything raked up and tidied stuff. It's now a little, a little after five, cleaning things up, getting things away. This is what I come up with while looking at it. So I spun that block sideways and moved this one over. So now I can just slide hot coals in and around there. And I put a stone there and a couple big ones as a backstop. But the only other thing I was thinking I might do is move the rocket stove over. But I would have to cut one of these guys in half. Because the rocket stove would make a, a nice backstop. But we're going to try this weekend. Just like this and see how it goes. And uh, wish us luck. Hopefully all ten of us make it out without an issue. But I'm out of here. I'm soaked. I should see if these things have some water come out of them. Oh. That was my day. I can't wait to get back to the truck and uh, throw the heat on. <laughs> well, if I decide to make a short video and do a couple of them from this weekend. Uh, thanks for tuning in again. And uh, there should be a little bit more content from this weekend with the guys. Not a whole lot, it's about having fun with them, but uh, I am gonna tinker at some projects while they're here. So uh, I'll make sure I include some updates on what I get done. Anyway, thanks again, we'll see you next time.